On March 3, 1847, Alexander Graham Bell was born in Attenborough, Scotland. He attended Edinburgh University and received special training in his father's system for removing speech impediments. In 1870, he migrated to Canada with his father. A year later he moved to Boston and became a professor at Boston University for Physiology. Bell was always interested in speaking to spirits. He was regularly searching, striving, and wanting to always lean and create. He was also interested in the sound of electricity. While he worked on a multiple telegraph, he developed the basic ideas for the telephone. In 1876, at age 29, he invented the telephone. In 1877, he formed the Bell Telephone Company. He was interested in communications and explored scientific activities such as kites, airplanes, tetrahedral structures, sheep breeding, artificial respiration, desalinization, water distillation, and hydrofoils. In the early 1800s, communication was inconvenient. If you needed to contact someone, you had to tour the whole town. All of this changed in 1877, when Gardner Hubbard created the Bell Telephone Company. This business took off very quickly and in just one short year over 3,000 telephones in service. Furthermore, by 1878, the Bell Company alone had 10,000 telephones in service. In the early 1900s, party lines were very popular. There were always six or seven parties on one line and to reach the operator you turned one long crank of the little handle on the side of the phone box. Once the operator got this call, they would ask you who you wanted to reach and then they'd ring them for you. Calls you put in were private and only heard by you, but calls received could be heard by any of the members sharing your line. There was a system of rings which would differentiate who the received calls, your neighbors would quickly memorize the code of rings. It was very easy for neighbors to eavesdrop because of party lines, all anyone had to do was quietly slip the receiver off the hook. At times, a third or fourth person would join in the conversation. Community was bound together by complex cords and boxes that spoke to you 